me to smile behind my mask. How long will it last? Stimulus going fast. Government won't act. How long will this be going on? Aloha, this is Scott, your soulful progressive with FNS. Feminist News Network, that feminist news, that's right for you. Welcome to Sky in the Abba Pui room at night. All right, giving you that soulful news you need. Yes, indeed. And if you haven't told a friend to like and subscribe and get that soulful news the black history way, you better let them know they can get it today. I know that's right. So what is it I want to talk to you about today? What is really going on? Aloha. This is February the 26th, Friday, 10 p.m. Hawaii time and the House has just passed the stimulus relief package 219 to 212. No Republicans voted for it. So I got meet Kevin because I was watching him during the whole live stream. And I'm going to let him explain the important parts of the stimulus package. Then we're going to end this and talk about it later because I wanted to get it to you. A-S-A-P. On this vote, the yeas are 219, the nays are 212. The bill is passed without objection. A motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Whoa. <laughs> Woo there it is, folks. The House has just passed the stimulus package, the $1.9 trillion stimulus package known as HR1319, the American Rescue Plan. The vote was a 219 to 212. The package includes $1,400 stimulus checks, a child tax credit of $3,000 per child under 18, and $3,600 for children under 6, which will be distributed on a monthly basis starting in, starting in July. A renewed unemployment benefits, including a $400 boost beginning March 15th, $100 increase from the $300 boost previously, new funding for EIDL grants, $15 billion for EIDL grants, $25 billion for restaurants and bars, $30 billion for housing and rental assistance, funding for transportation, and yes, the BART system in California, funding for paid leave for federal employees affected by the pandemic. However, no hero pay and no $200 per month as social security boost. $50 billion will also be going to coronavirus testing, $19 billion for the public health force, $16 billion for vaccine distributions. State and local governments will be getting $350 billion to cover budget shortfalls. $90 billion will go to transportation and infrastructure. $47 billion of funding going to FEMA. Airports getting $11 billion. Transportation agencies getting $28 billion. Four, uh, sorry, $12 billion going to airlines to avoid layoffs. $130 billion for education, $5 billion for pandemic EBT, uh, increased tax credits for Obamacare through exchanges, and there will also be COBRA subsidies for laid-off health workers. Uh, ITI and individuals married to military members will also be eligible for $1,400 stimulus checks. The minimum wage provision is in this bill. However, when this bill goes to the Senate, that portion will likely be removed. Then uh, this will go back to the House of Representatives to verify the uh, modifications that the Senate has made. And the expectation is that this bill will be passed in full prior to March 14th, the deadline that Congress is setting. Congress isn't really good at keeping the deadline promises, uh, but that's where we stand now. So even though the House has passed the stimulus plan, we do not have stimulus checks on the way yet until obviously the Senate passes them and Biden signs the stimulus check package, which hopefully all of that gets done by the middle of March, in which case checks might start flowing for some very quickly, but hopefully for most by the end of March and the first week of April. So there you have it. Stimulus package is passed in the House. Step one is done. This is a pretty big milestone, $1.9 trillion of spending, extremely along party lines with uh, really actually no Republicans voting for this. 
So there you have it. Thank you so very much for watching. Have you understood what Meet Kevin explained, and I'm glad that I was able to share that with you. I don't know if he is, but he explained it way better than I could in a quick response to try to get this out to you. So I hope you enjoyed that, and then we'll talk about this stimulus check and what it really does once it gets to the Senate, and we'll update you more then. And if you agree, tell me I ain't the one. Leave your comments below and let me know at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to that YouTube channel and that Facebook page. And remember, I'm that sober progressive one on Twitter. Got that rant of the day on blogger. And thanks for joining the news crew. So if you got a story to tell, let me know. All right. And remember, I'm also on PayPal Me. You can do uh, PayPal Me, Feminist News Network, donate. All right, that's great. Or hook me up. I got that Venmo, too. All right, you know what to do. Now, remember, in this era of hate, we got to participate. Because if we don't, honey, demonetization's all over the place. Silencing of independent media we're getting the word out wrongly to not create change but to scare people into saying no we don't want to do this we still want this brutal police for no time to change the wording so we can get the, the not just the message but the action done Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace. Gotta do something. We gotta, we gotta do something. See the smile behind my mask. How long will it last? Stimulus going fast. Government won't act. How long will this be going on? I'm standing here in line